Well, there's been a lot of interest in old Putt Putt in his movies. So I thought I'd do a up close and personal uh, video of him. The details for you guys that are interested. He's uh, got a lot of character and getting more. I really enjoy flying him. We'll start the front. Here's uh, one of Frank Johnson's props. It's 5820, weighs three pounds. He's since trimmed the hub down. It's a test prop, works good. Blade's a little thin. We got a little thicker one now we're working on. We're gonna get it down uh, to the optimum prop for a 45 horse legal eagle. And here's the uh, motor, the 45 horse from Kasler. It's nicknamed, uh, well there you can see it. Uh, it's running better all the time. It's got less than 50 hours on it. It's loosening up, sounding like it's supposed to. Here's a uh, stainless stack that Steve Kilminger sent me with uh, a little port welded in it. It's one of his brain childs. I think uh, Severance has got one of these on his too. This line goes to the crankcase and the idea is put a little a suction on that case and lower the pressure in there and maybe get a few more RPM. Here's a gauge line going to the uh, suction gauge in the cockpit so we can read crank, crankcase pressure or at least breather line pressure. Right now I got that flapper valve out of there, the regular Hummel flapper valve. It's out and we're just running this check valve, isolating the back pressure in the stack from the uh, line to the case, breather line. Running two uh, VM28 Mycoonies, much, much better setup than the old uh, Zenith that I love so much on my 37 horse. Single mag, pretty standard install, got a cable on it, 1 8th, probably ought to be a 3 16th. I had an engine mount fail, cracking five places. I've gone back with this uh, 5 8 so 4 9 mount. The one that cracked was a half inch 035. Do not build one out of that. Got each T on both cylinders. I consider that just essential for uh, fine tuning one of these little motors. I can't do it any other way. Here's a copper pipe going in the right stack. Uh, that's a smoke system. I'll show you that in the cockpit. Leonard gave it to me. It's an artifact. Go down here to the gear artwork on the side. It's standard legal eagle. Uh, in more ways than one, it's been knocked out from under two or three times. This left leg particularly gets uh, uh, damaged. The uh, axles are three quarter, and, and they're even they're too light. So now they've uh, had several tubes driven in them to uh, straighten them. Usually, <coughs> heat them up and straighten them. Got mountain bike brakes on it. Work really good, real good. I was surprised. They'll stand it on the nose on pavement. There's a lot of weird geometry going on in that little bracket right there. Took me three to get it right. I, I never did figure out why, what was happening there. <clears throat> struts, got a, uh, aluminum fairing over them. I don't run jury struts. Those are so stiff with that fairing. I got a partial jury strut back here just for a camera mount. Inside, uh, we got some test apparatus in here. There's a suction gauge and a uh, GPS that has an airplane page on it. Altitude and heading and all that. Thermometer. <coughs> this is the uh, smoke tank from Leonard. Works good. Put a half a quart of diesel fuel in there and some air and it'll smoke. There's the speaker or the mic for the camera system hanging in there and the rest of it's just standard little engine gauges airspeed yeah, rudder pedals i put all my controls on the inside so this is all different from standard legal legal right here there's the uh, brake handle and the rabbit's foot that i wouldn't go without 
And here's a quick and dirty throttle. I need to fix that. Servants has got a lot better throttle than that. I'm gonna copy his legal eagle standard seat. Fuel system, shut off valve, gas collator. <coughs> Excuse me, can't get over this coal. Uh, vortex generators, they work great. Wing tip plates, these work good. These, uh, for me, worked as well as the full plate that came up over the top of the wing, too. And weigh a lot less, and they're easier to make. Little memento there. Quick remove center section fairing, because we haul it quite a bit. All this stuff gets really beat up when you're hauling it. Another camera mount and mic cord. Covered aft fuselage. <coughs> this is a clip wing or clip tail. It's been cut down so it'll fit inside a uh, legal trailer. I couldn't tell any difference in the handling. I feel the center section at the same time that I clip the tail. So the stabilizers, uh, you got about the same area, but we lost some area off the elevator and the rudder. I can't tell any difference. Tail wheel, we've been through a lot of these. They take a beating. Since I covered the aft fuselage, I don't know, I haven't experienced it yet, but I know I don't have as much uh, crosswind capabilities as I did before. Here's my safety strap for hand starts. You guys use something like that, I hope. One of these days you'll get a surprise if you don't. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I've seen it happen several times. Removable pedo tube for hauling. Just pull it apart at the joint. This side's about the same as the other side. Repaired gear leg. That's putt-putt. Up close and personal. <laughs> 